Very good evening and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab Al Fatih. His Royal Highness of Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Adabiya Palace a number of senior officials, intellectuals, and media personnel, businessmen, and citizens in the framework of His Royal Highness's keenness to have channels of communication open with the people. His Royal Highness affirmed that the bond between the kingdom's rulers and its people is a source of pride, asserting utmost support to the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that aim at the elevation of the country and its people and better the quality of government services. His Royal Highness reiterated the government's determination to achieve all that promotes the citizens' living standards as they are the producers of the country's development. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Premier expressed a pride in the achievements made by the people and their positive response to human development programs launched by the government. He added that the Kingdom is taking accelerated steps in its sustainable development march, overcoming all challenges that would disrupt this process. In regards to foreign affairs, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its efforts in supporting Arab and Islamic issues under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al Saud, and with the support of the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz al Saud. His Royal Highness Prime Minister highlighted the Saudi Crown Prince's successful visit to the United States, citing it as a success to the region's countries.
الوطن يعني خليفة الوطن يعني خليفة حامي الأرض وسندنا حامي الأرض وسندنا وساكن بالحب يمنا وما يهزنا أي شيء الوطن يعني خليفة يعني داري وهو دارك وحتى لو جار الزمن يداري جارك وما يخلي أي محنة تعتلي قلبك تطحنه كلنا ويا خليفة كلنا ويا خليفة وهو ربانا ويعزنا وهو ربان السفينة وهو ربان السفينة دخل الغبة معانا وصل الساحل ساحل الخير وعطانا الله يحفظ أهل دارك الله يحفظ أهل دارك وإحنا وياك بقرارك إحنا وياك بقرارك كلنا ويا خليفة والوطن هو خليفة والخليفة هو أحلام كبرت وهو أمطار كثرت ازهرت في كل وقت وخضرت درب الوطن وهو لم وهو اللي لم شعبه بالمحبة لم شعبه وخلى قلبه باب للأمن وحفظنا كلنا ويا خليفة كلنا دون الألم كلنا ويا خليفة وهو حامي هالوطن تسلم طال عمرك يا يعني عمرك قوي الله يسلمك الله يخليك واحنا معاك في كل خطوة بنفسنا بقلبنا بحياتنا كبار وصغار الوطن كل الوطن انت الله يسلم بو علي قمة عظيمة وبو علي نسل الأوايل بو علي صقر أصيل هيبته تضوي طباعة هامته فوق المعالي أصلها من نسل وايل شامله معنى الأصالة والمحبة والشجاعة الفرح اليوم بين في بلادي كالهمايل افرحوا كل القبايل والحبايب والرباعة هذه لطيور تتغنى وهذه لنخيل التمايل وهذه بحرين الحضارة عزها أنت شراعة يا خليفة المجد يا خليفة المجد نجم ما يطولها أي طايل كيف وانت النجم أصلا والبدر وانت شعاعة المحبة لك كبيرة يا كبير بالفعايل حكمتك خلت بلادي دانت تضوي الوساعة His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Gadabia Palace the Board of Directors of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, headed by its chairman Samir Abdullah Nas on the occasion of the formation of the new board. His Royal Highness noted that the BCCI is a uniting framework for all the workers in the trade and industry sector and praised its role in the commercial march and its vital economic weight. The Prime Minister urged the new board of directors to cooperate in their work of the benefit of traders to maintain the historical status of the chamber and enhance the commercial march. The board of directors praised the support they receive from the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and invited His Royal Highness to visit the chamber. They also submitted a petition on his, to His Royal Highness to postpone imposing fees on practicing business activities. His Royal Highness affirmed his keenness to support the commercial sector and appointed the Minister of Commerce, Industry and Tourism to consult with the chamber to decide the appropriate business activities fees. His Royal Highness congratulated the board members, wishing them success in serving the trade and industry sector. He also expressed keenness to communicate with the BCCI on all industrial and commercial affairs. The Prime Minister hailed the efforts of the private sector in achieving development goals and enhancing the competitiveness of the national economy. His Royal Highness added that the contributions of the private sector in development has achieved great success. His Royal Highness stressed that the government will continue to support to the private sector and reinforce its part part participation in setting development plans and future economic policies. His Royal Highness noted that the current economic challenges have doubled the level of responsibilities in enhancing the competitiveness of the national economy in attracting investments and affirmed the government's keenness to support the BCCI. The board members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support to BCCI and praised his directives that reinforce partnership between the government and the chamber through consultation and cooperation and supporting the chamber's efforts to achieve the aspirations of the commercial sector.
The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of West Asian Athletics Association, president of Bahrain Athletics Association, Azani Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Azani Sheikh. Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's winning third place in the World Half Marathon Championship held in Valencia, Spain. His Highness affirmed that the achievement is a result of the continuous support of His Majesty the King for the sports and youth movements in the kingdom. His directives on the importance of responsible representation of Bahrain in international events and his keenness on following up on the national team's participation in various events. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the achievement and the status as Bahrain acquired in the athletic sport. He hailed the participators' determination to make an honorable achievement for the kingdom and the role of technical, administrative and media teams in achieving this accomplishment. The Speaker of the Representatives Council and President of the Parliamentary Division, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, delivered a speech at the meeting of the 138th Union Assembly of the International Parliament held in Geneva, Switzerland. Al Mullah affirmed that Bahrain is exerting efforts to protect immigrants and refugees, noting that a regional representative of the UNHCR was appointed. He stated that the Kingdom is keen on playing its role of enhancing and supporting the comprehensive, sustainable development for a better global future. He added that facing challenges and humanitarian suffering is the only way to solve them and stressed the importance of unified efforts to deal with the issue of immigrants and refugees. Al Mullah highlighted the speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that urges for the need to protect and provide the help and support for the people in need in addition to providing the support to public countries according to international standards worked by the UN as well as international treaties. He pointed out that the Kingdom of Bahrain established a number of projects for refugees, including a residential complex in Al Zatari camp and Al Azra camp. A school for girls was opened in Urbid Governorate, a center for creativity, as well as a science complex, which is the first educational project and one of the most important projects that serves about 5,000 students, in addition to many projects and assistance provided by the Royal Charity Organization for refugees in some countries of the world. Al Mullah called on the General Assembly to approve the emergency topic submitted by the Kingdom of Bahrain, Kuwait, Palestine and Turkey as this would lead to stability of the situation in general and help find the appropriate solutions to the Palestinian cause. He pointed out that the Kingdom of Bahrain earned the highest ranking in 2017 as a preferred place for foreigners to work and stay with the family. Also, the final preparatory meeting of the International Migrants Convention held in Mexico adopted the Kingdom of Bahrain's experience in reforming the labor market. The adoption of a flexible work permit as a best international practice, the Bahraini project in the Human Rights Council and its adoption as an international model in the Economic and Social Commission. He stressed the need to give more attention to the problem of migrants and refugees and exert efforts to provide safe havens for them and facilitate the crossing of the barriers and geographical boundaries and provide them with all means of material and moral support. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today presided over by its chairman Ali bin Salah Hassala, where it approved the recommendation of the service committee of allowing socially insured employees in the civil sector to add a default service period of up to five years as part of the draft of a draft law adding Article 36 to the social insurance law. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa announced today tough steps to deal with unprecedented chaos by disruptive social media accounts. He said such accounts spread malicious rumors that went against social harmony and civil peace, adding that security authorities would tackle any offense against national and traditional values. He said that some disruptive social media accounts claimed they were run by the royal court, while it had been proven that were operated through malicious websites 
websites and had no links with the royal court or any other official organization in Bahrain. He continued to state the royal court was an official authority that functioned to implement the directives of His Majesty the King in regard of supervising all constitutional organizations in the kingdom to ensure they followed constitutional provisions in the best interests of the nation and its citizens. Thus, it is above any cyber activity against the norms and traditions of Bahrain, whereas those accounts are destructive and not constructive. He added that those accounts were monitored since they relied on inaccurate information about individuals and organizations and were against the interest of the internal front. The interior minister said the operators of some of those accounts were identified and others would continue to be pursued. He said, we won't be far from tracking them down and taking legal action against them, even if we need to draft new legislation to tackle the latest developments in such crimes with their negative effects on members of society and the national fabric. He also said there would be a follow-up and steps would be taken to make them accountable in accordance with the law to stop their violations and misuse of the social media. He said it was unfortunate that the social media had been turned into a place to spread sedition and rumors rather than to strengthen community bonds. The interior minister asked citizens to ignore malicious social media accounts and their abusive rumors and, claim, uh, and claims against Arab and Islam tradition and stressed the need to obtain information from official sources. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam Abdullah Khalaf, Housing Minister Basim bin Yagub Al Hamar and Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar visited an Naim area to identify with the needs of the residents. The meeting was held at the Naim Youth Center in which the chairman of the center, Ghazi Abdul Mahsin, welcomed the ministers hailing the efforts of the ministries in field of roads, sanitation, infrastructure, housing and youth affairs. The Minister of Works said that field visits will be conducted by the officials concerned to meet the needs of Al Naim residents and consider the possibility of implementation according to the available resources and in light of the priorities that are agreed upon with the Municipal Council for the area. The Housing Minister added that this visit comes in implementation of His Royal Highness's keenness to follow up with the needs of citizens in various areas of the kingdom. He reiterated the ministry's keenness to provide a housing needs for citizens. El Jordan affirmed that the directives of the wise leadership stresses the importance of meeting the needs of citizens and providing them with a decent living, which includes youth and sports services in various governorates and villages in the country. Under the patronage of the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ahmedan, the Pro Sky Business Incubator was opened at Beta Tajar, which is the first incubator specialized in media and management, supervised by the Bahrain Association for the Development of Small and Medium Enterprises. The incubator aims to provide growth and success elements for new and emerging companies and achieve the dream of entrepreneurs in finding a suitable place at a simple price and help them transform innovative ideas into success successful business ventures. It provides a number of workshops, training and educational programs in various fields of business and media. It also provides office space, a studio equipped with the best imaging and recording equipment and an event hall equipped with a state-of-the-art technology. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Golf Cup Championship rounds concluded yesterday. The championship was held at the Bahrain Golf Club in Hnainia with the participation of 107 players representing various golf clubs in the kingdom. The award ceremony was held in the presence of the Chief of Staff and the Deputy President of Bahrain Golf Club. Uh, Thiab bin Sagra Naimi, who delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for the remarkable championship, to the Club Affairs Directorate for participating in the award ceremony, and to the Board of Directors and Club members for their efforts in organizing the championship. He also congratulated the winners and wished the other participants luck in upcoming championships.